A tracheostomy tube is an artificial airway which bypasses a person's upper airway. The tracheostomy tube is inserted directly into the trachea by a surgically created hole called a stoma. Tracheostomy tubes can be made from several different types of materials and can come in various styles. One key feature which differentiates tracheostomy tubes into two distinct groups is the presence or absence of a balloon-like structure called a cuff. Join me this week as I discuss the difference between cuffed and uncuffed tracheostomy tubes. A cuffed tracheostomy tube has a balloon-like feature at the distal end of the tube. The balloon can be inflated or deflated. When the cuff is inflated, all the inhaled and exhaled air enters and leaves the respiratory tract via the tracheostomy tube. Cuff tracheostomy tubes are most often used during mechanical ventilation. The purpose of the cuff on the tracheostomy tube is to create a sealed circuit. An inflated cuff closes off the airway so that the breaths being given by the ventilator are delivered directly to the lungs. If the cuff is deflated, part of the delivered breath escapes around the tracheostomy tube and out the nose and mouth. An uncuffed or cuffless tracheostomy tube does not have the balloon-like feature at the end of the tube. The tracheostomy tube cannot be inflated or deflated. When an uncuffed tracheostomy tube is in place, the airflow will be similar to that of a deflated, cuffed tracheostomy tube. Air will flow in and out of the tracheostomy tube and will go to the lungs but air may also leak around the tracheostomy tube and will travel through the upper airway. If the tracheostomy tube has a pilot line and pilot balloon, this is an indicator that the patient has a cuffed tracheostomy tube. A cuffless tracheostomy tube does not have a pilot line or pilot balloon. The phalanges on most tracheostomy tubes will also specify if the tracheostomy tube does or does not have a cuff. A cuff tracheostomy tube is mostly used with mechanical ventilation. The cuff can be inflated to create a sealed circuit. This will allow the air from the ventilator to be monitored and measured. A cuff tracheostomy tube may also be used in patients who are prone to aspiration. For most other medical conditions, a cuffless tracheostomy tube is frequently used. Additionally, if the patient does not require that the air from the ventilator be monitored and if he's able to tolerate cuff deflation without respiratory distress, then a cuffless tracheostomy tube may be placed. Please also note, Pediatric and neonatal patients usually have cuffless tracheostomy tubes to prevent the cuff on the tracheostomy tube from damaging the trachea. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.